The search for Secret Santa has left me a bit confused about how I feel because there were times when I was really into this film. I was loving it. And there were times when I just didn't feel like it was going in the right direction. This was released in 2022. It's directed by Amy Barrett and written by Joni Kane. And it stars Sky Coin as Sophia. And Sophia moves into this apartment. She's a writer. She's trying to find motivation, trying to find this story. And she stumbles upon this undelivered Christmas present. And she she determines that the gift has been there for quite a while. And she opens it. And I won't say what's in it, because for me, that was part of the mystery. We find out quite early on what is in it. But there was an element of mystery for a short period of time, so I won't spoil it. But I will say, visually, it was very striking. And I rather enjoyed the reveal and the way it looked. And it had a, a certain magical quality to it. Uh, and that part I, I, I really enjoyed. But then she realises that there's a, a big mystery surrounding who this gift was for, why it was never delivered, and something potentially criminal. And I won't say any more than that, because I do recommend the film. It is a decent enough film, but there were times when it just felt like it was trying too hard. I don't want to say to be an action film, that's stretching it a bit too much, but it was trying too hard to be dramatic and intense and suspenseful. And when you have a, a Christmas film, those two things don't necessarily always go hand in hand. It's like it's trying to be a Christmas comedy, but also trying to be a, a mystery. And they can work. But on this occasion, because I feel like one scene felt like a classic Christmas rom-com, the next scene felt like a mystery. They never really intertwined. It was separate for each scene. And for me, that was a little bit clunky. And meant that it wasn't the most streamlined experience because I felt like I was jumping back and forth with what I was expecting and how I was feeling. Some people may not have an issue with that, but for me it meant it wasn't the, the smoothest experience. But that being said, there was a lot of you know mystery surrounding what was going on and the mystery element I did actually care for. And I was really curious to find out what would happen and what was going on and I hadn't predicted it which I like I always love it when I have no idea what's going on and when it was revealed it made enough sense and also there were a couple of things that happened that I actually thought were pretty awesome there was one reveal I won't say which one it is but there was one reveal where I genuinely thought wow I absolutely did not see that coming. And I love that. I love that so much. So there were certainly bits in this film that really appealed to me, that worked really well. But it's not every scene. I'd say I really enjoyed 60% of the film. Definitely more than half the film, but nowhere near all of it. So if it sounds like your kind of film, I'd say give it a go. It, I don't think it's going to be for everybody. And it's absolutely not perfect. But... Sophia is a, a likeable character. I was happy enough to follow her journey. It's definitely quite festive. Well, it's quite Christmassy. I think festive is too happy a word. It's got too much of a, a dark shroud over it with the mystery element and this suspense. But it's it's certainly Christmassy. And the, the narrative is generally well written. For me, the biggest issue is just it feels like it's trying to be or trying to evoke different kinds of moods, and they don't necessarily combine very well. But but other than that, it's not bad. The Search for Secret Santa definitely has some pretty good moments in it.